हेलो एवरीवन नमस्कार सो वी आर बैक विथ वन मोर क्वेश्चन ऑन बाइनरी नंबर्स इट्स एन इंटरेस्टिंग वन बिकॉज टिल नाउ यू नो हाउ टू परफॉर्म ऑल द फोर ऑपरेशन ऑन बाइनरी नंबर्स इफ यू हैव एंट गो एंड वॉच माई प्ले लिस्ट आई हैव टॉट देयर हाउ टू कन्वर्ट अ बाइंड्री टू डेसीमल अ डेसीमल टू बाइंड्री एंड देन हाउ टू कैन परफॉर्म The, all the four operation that is addition subtraction division and multiplication and once you know that you can uh, go a step forward and solve some interesting problems like this so let's see what the problem says it says if x cube plus y cube is given x plus y is also given we need to find the value of this x minus y whole square plus xy first of all coming to the basic mathematics and that says that x cube minus x cube plus y cube <coughs> has got two formulas the first one being x plus y whole cube minus 3xy x plus y and the other formula which i can recall is x cube plus y cube now both formulas can be der uh, derived If you know one formula, you can derive the other as well. So, other formula is x plus y, x square minus x y plus y square. So, in this question, you know the value of x cube plus y cube. You know the value of x plus y. and this expression is equivalent to this only if you see because if i open this which is given in the question i will get x square plus y square minus 2xy plus xy i am going to get the same expression so we need to find the value of this so i can say that uh, if i divide this term x cube plus y cube divided by x plus y will give me x minus y whole square plus x y so our main aim will be to divide now x cube plus y cube divided by x plus y let's perform the division the division i know both the uh, ways first binary to binary division i also know and i also know how to convert them to uh, decimal and then to perform operation so first of all binary to binary let's uh, do by that and let's finish off this question then i will uh, continue with uh, binary to decimal also in the same video so x cube plus y cube divided by x plus y so 1 4 times 0 1 0 triple 1 1 4 times 0 One zero triple one divided by five times one. So if you see, if you take five at a time, so this is four five. Obviously, this is going to be smaller as compared to the divisor. So what you do, you just write a zero. You subtract. you will get the same quantity now you can uh, take this one down now because dividend is larger than the divisor divisor is this so our dividend is now larger so you can uh, do in one time because you have only two options either multiply divisor by zero try to get dividend or multiply your divisor by one and try to get dividend so whatever your choice is so you will get 1 5 times so one minus one is zero here zero minus one i will have to borrow i will have to take borrow and that borrow will come right from this so this will give a borrow to this this to this this to this and this to this so each of them this will become 1 1 1 and this will now become 1 0 which is 2 so 2 minus 1 is 
Now this has become one one minus one is zero. This is also become one one minus one is zero. This is also become one one minus one is zero. And this because it gave one, so this became zero. Now I have I am left with one zero because they, does, this zero at the beginning doesn't matter. So I am I have one zero, and I have reached till here. Now I can uh, take this zero down. But that will not create any impact because hundred is way smaller than one five times. So again, as usual, for the other things to come down, I will have to take one zero. So if I subtract this by zero, I am not writing the initial four zeros. I will get hundred. Then I can take this one down. So still, it doesn't matter. Again, one zero. Fine. Now, 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 now. I will. I have taken this uh, down. This one. Okay. So I am left with one zero zero one. Okay, next, next, next. Uh, again, one zero. So, am I doing anything incorrect? Let's look at the question once again. One three times zero was there. Oh, I have written four times zero. So, sorry for the mistake. Uh, I uh, copied the question incorrectly. So, I'll have to go back. So let's see what the question is. One, three times zero, one zero triple one. <coughs> And I have a five times one. Again, because uh, this is smaller. So I take a zero. And bring this zero down. Now in one time, we get five times one. Zero minus one, and we have to take more. So two minus one is one. Two is similar to one zero. Then this became zero. Zero minus one again a problem. So I will take borrow straight away from this. So this will become zero. This will become one zero. Will again pass. So this will become one. This will become one zero. But I have to pass. So this will become one. This becomes uh, one zero. But again, uh, this will have to. Pass so this becomes one and now this becomes one zero which is similar to two. Two minus one is one. This is now one minus one zero. One minus one zero. One minus one zero. Okay. And this became zero anyway. So I am now left with one one. I can take this one down. I will compare. This is way smaller than five times one, so zero. I'm not copying the rest of the bits. I'm just copying one, one, one. Then, uh, because I have done this, I can, I have now get the freedom to take one more one down. So I will get one. Still not uh, possible to divide. So. Again, a zero here and a subtraction by zero. Two, three, four. Now I can take the last one also down. So I have got five times one, which can be can uh, easily cancelled in one time. So one, 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 one. These are all giving us zero, so I can cross this. So that's it. I have got one initial zero. Doesn't matter at the. I have again saying so one double zero one. 
is what I am getting. And what is 1001? It is in binary. So if I convert this in decimal, because I will perform that operation also. Let's write the answer. So this answer is giving me 1001 in binary. 1001 is nothing but 1 plus 8 that is 9 let's check by converting it to decimal that whether it is giving us 9 as the quotient or not so 1 3 times 0 10 zero, triple 1 you can leave the video if you don't want to go by the other method I have already finished my question so 1 3 times 0 one zero triple one. Let's convert this into decimal. So this I will multiply by one, then two, four, eight, sixteen, then thirty two, sixty four, hundred and twenty eight, and two hundred and fifty six. So one into one is one. 2 into 1 is 2, 4 into 1 is 4, 8 into 0 is 0, 16 into 1 is 16 and then all the way down to 256. Now 256 plus 4 is 260 plus 16, 276, 278 and 279. <coughs> what is the other number? That is one 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 five times. So there is a trick for this also. If you have got one five times all one, so directly you can write two power five minus one. That is thirty two minus one thirty one. Let's check uh, also. So this we will multiply by one, then two, then four, then eight, then sixteen. So 16 plus 8, 24, 28, 30 and 31. <coughs> so basically, according to question, I will have to divide this 279 by 31. Let's perform the long division. So arbitrarily, if I do 31 into 9, 9 to 1 is 9, 9 to 27. That's it. It is cancelling in 9 times. So I will get uh, 279 divided by 31 equal to 9. And this 9 is nothing but 1001 in binary. This 279 binary you already know 1001. 0, triple 1 and this is 5 times 1 is 31. So that's it. We verified it. Uh, don't go to the writing. I am not able to control uh, this pen because it sometimes lags. So that doesn't matter. The concept matter. Uh, you now know how to divide binary to binary also and uh, by converting it to decimal also. So I hope you are able to understand its problem. It was not difficult problem because if you know formula you can easily perform division and report your answer so that's it from my side for more such video do watch my playlist share this uh, video to your friend and challenge him with this question thanks and have a nice day